Hello students, welcome again. Students, when we discuss the contribution of the authors during Elizabethan age, when we talk about the development of English poetry during the 16th century, then we must also discuss the development of sonnets in English literature. Do you know who has introduced this new form of sonnet in English literature? Then remember it was Thomas Wyatt who became the pioneer, who became the first importer of this new form of English poetry called sonnet in English literature. Thomas Wyatt, who was born in 1503 and died in 1542, you know, during the first half of the 16th century, he was the first person to introduce this new form of sonnet which is written in 14 lines in English literature and that's why we consider him as the pioneer of sonnets in English literature. You know, when we talk about sonnets, we remember the contribution, great contribution of William Shakespeare, Edmund Spencer, John Milton, John Donne and so many others who have written some fabulous sonnets, immortal sonnets in English literature, but they all are actually indebted to Thomas Wyatt because he was the first person who taught William Shakespeare, Edmund Spencer and others how to write sonnets. So the credit goes to Thomas Wyatt. Had there been no Thomas Wyatt in English literature, there would have been perhaps no William Shakespeare as a sonneteer. Okay. Thomas Wyatt who lived during the first half of the 16th century, he visited Italy okay. and many times he visited Italy and in his, uh, during his visits he came across some very popular Italian sonnets written by Francesco Petrarch. Remember this name Petrarch. Petrarch was a very popular poet of the 14th century in Italy. He wrote sonnets in Italian language. So Thomas Wyatt first of all gets influenced by the sonnets of uh, Petrarch. Uh, he also read the poetry of uh, Dante and so many other Italian poets and when he came back to England he introduced this new form of Petrarchan sonnet in England. So he followed the Petrarchan style and he, he followed the Italian Petrarchan style but he adopted, he wrote poetry, he wrote sonnets in English language. So that's why he is also known as the imitator of Italian sonnets. Okay, what are the major poetical works of Thomas Wyatt? Then remember Thomas Wyatt all through his lifetime wrote about 90 poems out of which you know 31 are sonnets. Out of this 31 sonnets, 10 sonnets he has actually translated from Petrarch from Italian sonnets. And all his poems, all his 90 poems were posthumously published, posthumously means after his death. Okay, uh, these poems were published in 1557 in an anthology which was entitled as Total's Miscellany. Okay, there we come across uh, his poems and his sonnets. Now, when, when Thomas Wyatt wrote his sonnets, you know, he divided his sonnets because sonnet, you know, they are written in 14 lines. Okay, and Petrarch, who was an Italian uh, poet, he wrote sonnets in two divisions, one sestet and another is octave. Sestet means uh, a stanza of six lines and an octave a stanza of eight lines. So Thomas Wyatt, when he wrote sonnets in English language, he followed the same pattern of a sestet and an octave. But he was not simply an imitator, okay. He tried to do some experiments with that and later on, you know, he has also changed this pattern of sestet and octave. Instead of one sestet and one octave, he has now started writing 
instead of that he started writing two sastiks means uh, two stanzas of six lines that means 12 lines and one couplet at the end so he experimented with this original italian form he modified uh, the italian form to shoot the audience of uh, british society okay this modified form which was introduced by thomas wyatt in england was further modified by some great sonneteers of english literature like william shakespeare edmund spencer john milton and so many others now you know if we examine the views of the critics uh, on thomas wyatt's contribution we have two different groups on the one hand we have some critics like tilliard c uh, c s lewis and others you know who who do not consider thomas wyatt as an important contributor to english poetry okay they believe that you know c s uh, lewis he believes that uh, his age is the drab age of english poetry the first half of the 16th century and lewis considers thomas wyatt as just an imitator of the italian sonnets but uh, this is not completely true okay uh, there are some other critics like j w lever who consider uh, thomas wyatt as an important contributor and he said that he contributed significantly to the elizabethan poetry so all in all you know try to understand that the italian form of sonnet which was popular during the 14th 15th and 16th century in italy was brought uh, into england by thomas wyatt and he modified that form which was further modified by william shakespeare in our next lecture i am going to discuss william shakespeare's contribution to english sonnets uh, in our next lecture so please uh, do watch that video too thank you for watching thank you thank you very much